It may look like any other suburban house, but from inside these four walls, men set out on epic journeys that saw them circumnavigate the globe, find the lost tribes of Aladulla, capture pirate treasure ships on the Spanish main, and cross the mighty Sahara by hot air balloon. And I was part of it every Sunday afternoon with my granddad. Pilot to tail gunner. Come in, Ginger. Over. Tail gunner to pilot. All quiet here, Skipper. Over. Well, keep your eyes peeled. We'll be over the target soon. And suddenly the sky would be full of measure smiths, and we'd be throwing the lot at them. Both barrels, full metal cricket. Bandits at 12 o'clock. Bandits at 12 o'clock. We stuck out our chins, and we bit our stiff upper lips as we flew into a storm of lead, dicing with death in a cold black starless sky above a shattered city ablaze with firebombs. Target sighted! Three, two, one. Bombs away! The plane lurched upwards, free of its deadly dead weight, and we soared away from the carnage. And we cheered and we screamed with blind relief as far below, our squadron leader plummeted to his doom. <laughs> the world outside was grey and lifeless. In that world, I got up, I had breakfast, I went to school. In that world, I was playing old Billy Thomas. Ten-year-old nobody. But in here... I was Major William D. Thomas. First Australian on the moon and co-pilot on the inaugural mission to Mars. Strapped into our seats on top of the massive Holden V8 booster rocket, we waited for the word. Commander to mission control. Final checks complete. All systems go. Houston, we have a go for main engine ignition. Do you copy? And still we waited. The endless seconds ticking by. The eyes of the world upon us. Houston, do you have a problem? No answers from the scientists and the engineers. Come in, Houston. What do you think, Commander? I reckon the radio's buggered. What should we do? It's your call, Major. The future of mankind lies in your hands. Houston, we have main engine start. <gasps> Confirm main engine start. Maximum thrust. Confirm maximum thrust. Cable release. Oh. Oh, Houston, we have cleared the tower. And then we were riding the stack, blazing a trail straight into the heart of darkness as a million tons of liquid fuel launched us skyward with a supersonic boom. I don't think my granddad was different from any other granddad. He just never took me to the beach or the footy. He took me to Antarctica instead. Hunkered down in a ragged tent, an icy wind sucking the marrow from our bones. We listened to the soft thud of snowflakes as big as dinner plates as they piled up in porcelain white drifts that blocked out the sun. Will this terrible wind never stop howling? I think that's the huskies, old bean. Afraid not, old boy. We ate the last one yesterday. So this is it, old chap? It's been an honor knowing you, old man. <laughs> Damn frostbite. We said our last farewells in that godforsaken place we knew was destined to be our tomb. Sixty-two Acacia Road, 
It might not look like much, but once upon a time, this was the most exciting place in the universe. From here, Grandad took me on every single one of his great adventures. Except the last.